I've been in Freeho three different times. Yeah. And three different times I've been with Karen. <laughs> I remember meeting Karen for the first time, like, almost two years ago, I think. Yeah, in 2017. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just, she was someone that, like, resembled somebody for me, like a strong person. And that's what I need in my life. And, you know, I, since I've been with her, I've always had trouble with saying, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, um, but, you know, she just, like, taught me to literally say, I can do it, even when I feel like I'm not. Like, just say, I can do this, I can do it, and, you know, I've been practicing, and even when I was out there, I was still dancing. Mm -hmm. Like, she, she made me realize, like, dancing is a really good coping skill for me, and I'm glad to be dancing for, you know, sex trafficking, and women in abusive relationships, and women with um, drug addiction, because that's a really big thing, and dancing really is, like, it really gets you out of your head, mm -hmm. and... I don't know, if it wasn't for me meeting Karen that day, I don't think I would have ever realized that. You know, mm. she just, she makes me feel so comfortable when we're dancing. Mm. So she's like, woo! You know, <laughs> she, gets, she gets, she's the hype man. Yeah, I you know. know? And she different. makes sure that all of us know, like, that we can do this. Like, even if you don't feel like it, just say it, and eventually it'll become true, because now, you know, I like to think of myself that I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> You're way good. And so, did you also share that you would never just dance. Like, if you were dancing, you were high. Yeah. And now you would never dance sober. Right. Yeah. Like, what were you saying about that? In the past, I would only dance, you know, to get money, to get attention from guys, to get, you know. And I was, that was always when I was high, you know or, you know, at clubs or whatever, you know, as a job. But like, you know, with Karen, she made me realize like I can actually do this sober and it's something way different than just, you know, shaking my ass for money. Right. You know, mm -hmm. so it's, um, it's a big difference, but it makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel more confident in myself that I'm not like, I'm not just doing this for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Like nobody just wants me to do it. Like I'm just gonna have fun with yeah. it and um yeah i would have never done any of this sober either but um now i know that i can yeah and that's really important for me yes like, really important. it's a big like, deal it's such a big thing for me because you know all my life i've always danced you know at strip clubs you know mm -hmm. i never and i always loved dance i just never i never felt like i ever had the chance to like actually dance something different, something that I wanted to do, not my boss, not a man, not any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so and I'm really happy. I know it's amazing. And you also, uh, I was touched when you made that comment to the hostess of the charity event. Yeah. You, what did you say to her? Uh, what did I say? <laughs> it was something about the empowerment through dance class and right. Like and being involved in if it yeah. weren't for you said if it weren't for class or weren't for Karen that yeah if it weren't for Karen I would have never known that this would have been a really great coping skill oh, yeah. Um, yeah and you know Stacy without her you know her inviting us to dance there like I would have never felt as confident as I do in dancing mm -hmm. like I felt confident ever since I've been with Karen but like ever since like you know last night I mean the day before last night like it's it's pretty good it's pretty amazing like yeah. i would have never like i have this whole new level of confidence that i've never had in my whole life yeah like stacy really gave us like a really big opportunity and i hope she she you know i hope she realizes like how big this is for us because you know we're not used to getting that type of attention you know we're used to getting oh. something else too <laughs> they were so impressed that they <laughs> asked me <laughs> All the women wanted to do a dance party. All Stacy's friends. Because <laughs> they were so inspired by you. Yeah. That they want their own dance party. They want to learn how to dance and perform too. Yeah. These are all the moms. Yeah. Right? Is that amazing because yeah. of you? All right, so, so talk about what happened when you came back. When you were leaving to go and then you came back from the show. Oh, yeah. Right? When I came back, I was still... 
I was still turnt by dancing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was still dancing. I was so happy. I kept talking about it. Um, I felt like we really connected, like as a team. Mm -hmm. And like, I can't wait to do it again. We're going to be doing it again September 1st. Yeah, we're doing it again. Yeah. What about you, Sparks? Well, for me, the experience was amazing. Like, like I've said, um, this is outside of my character, you know, like I'm not used to doing things like this. Um, you know, when I was a young girl, you know, I was victimized with a dance partner of mine. You know, she was in a dance class with me and I never realized that that might have put a stop to my dancing, you know. And so being a part of this dance class has been really empowering for me because I'm not a victim anymore. Right. You know, I'm a survivor and, you know. It's one thing to be in a dance class, and then it's another thing to be in a dance class and perform it and yeah. follow through with the whole experience, you know, like, it. and it's completely different. It's a completely different experience. It's so gratifying, and, it, like, I'm just so grateful that I was able to make the cut, yeah. you know, because I took it seriously, you know, because I want to do something different with my life. I want to, I want to do things that I haven't done before, you know, and that's what I'm doing, and it feels amazing, you know, and then just the experience of going, you know, and going somewhere so beautiful and, you know, just so serene was, was good, like, you know, I had a lot of time, even though we were with so many girls, I had a lot of time for myself to just soak in, you know, the environment and the, you know, just the, the beauty around me. And, you know, working with the girls, it did. It, it bonded us a lot closer, you know. And it, mm -hmm. it gave us a chance to have, I think, um, more empathy for each other and each other's stories, each other's lives, yeah. the things that we've each gone through because we've all gone through something different, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. I know. I just, it was fun it was to so be part fun. of a team and then work together and then perform. Together. Yep, perform together and stay together. And I thought it was just amazing that you performed with us and Lori performed with us as well, you know what I mean? I feel like that was, you know, kind of unheard of, you know? Yeah. Most of the time it's like your dance class and, you know, the choreographer doesn't dance with the group, right. you know, neither does the, you know, what, the oh, founder. No, the founder, you know, dance. So, I mean, that was just an honor too, you know? Yeah to dance right next to Lori and right behind you. Yeah. You know, you guys are some great role models for us. You know, you guys are some strong, empowered women that, you know, give that to us, you mm -hmm. know. Well, you know, I do believe if you understand the deeper level and the ronal patterning and, and the brain, how the brain works, we're all addicts at some level. Yeah. Right. Everyone's an addict in recovery. And I mean, I'm sorry, everyone, everyone has tendencies for addiction. Could be anything. Anything. The number one addiction from my point of view is actually food. Yeah. Yeah, and I say that. So, you know, Lori, as we know, is a recovering alcoholic and 12-stepper, and, and I'm a recovering overachiever perfectionist. It's still addiction, same wiring in the brain, and I consulted with a neuroscientist on that. And, you know, why wouldn't we dance? Because this is my, not just my coping mechanism, it's my passion, mm -hmm. you know, and obsession. Yeah. And so if you're going to be addicted to anything, be addicted to dance. Yeah. But then... If you're driven by passion, it's no longer an addiction. Mm -hmm. It's now an obsession and a burning desire, driven yeah. by passion. I feel like my obsession with dance is forming now. Yes. <laughs> like, right? when I get out of here, you know, I want to do dance classes. I know, um, what's her name, Misty Copeland? Yes. She's a really big, like, person for me. Because, like, know, if I she can her. start really late, I can too. Like, yeah. it doesn't have to be. It's never too late. It's never too late. Uh-huh. Yeah. So That's when. True. What we're, so it's called uh, uh, peer success, peer pressure and peer success. So when you came back to the facility, all the women that I tried to get to dance, yes, yeah, right. they wouldn't dance. And now, all of, a sudden, yeah. all of a sudden, tell me what happened. Well, they all want to be a part of it, you know. What were they, they saying? Don't name names. They just wanted to be a part of the dance class today, um, you know, yeah. thinking that they would be able to go to the next event, you know. and, and it, we didn't tell them, no, you're not going to make the cut, you know, like, we just told them, we just told them, you know, that the opportunity, if they want to do it, you know, then they need to take it seriously, you know, like, and that we didn't know if there would be enough time for them to, you know, to make it or not, you know, give up. yeah, just to not give up, you know, because it's hard, it's hard, you know, there's how many girls in the facility, like, 40 something, yeah, you know, so, and there's how many that made the cut, five of us, right, 
you know, like and, yeah. And there was a couple because, more, but they got discharged. They walked out right. on, on their sobriety. Unfortunately, I think we yeah. lost two, two or three. Two, yeah, two for sure. Yeah, and like you know, it's just it just goes to show how many people didn't take it seriously. You know, that's a lot of people. I know, and that's okay. You know, they're on their own journey. They don't have to dance to to stay sober. You know what I mean? Or to recover from their you know past traumas. You know, but for me, this is what's working for me. This working with my sponsor as well, you know, and doing the work in the program is what works for me, you know? But yeah, it's, it, you know, it's a tough love approach, which I, absolutely works. Um, and then also, what is the most important thing that's required to, for dance class? Respect. That I'm with, yeah. Respect. Positive attitude. Respect. Commitment. Mm -hmm. Commitment, yeah. No back talk. Yeah. No yappity yap. <laughs> Stop a yappity yapping. Yeah. No prima donnas. No. No divas. No prima queens. donnas. And the people who this is important to are the people who stop doing that because I think we all when we first get there right. have a hard time not yes. talking back I know I did you yeah. know I can only speak for you myself you talked back to me I did every you know? one of you talked back but because it was important to me I stopped yeah. you know what I mean and that's what I learned the first thing I learned in the class is you know I don't have to miss out on things that I get joy out of just because I can't control you know my mouth or mm. my you know what I mean my behavior my attitude I can control that that's about one of the only things I do have power over is myself you know my my actions my you know words and you know if it's something that's important to you then you're gonna weigh out you know like whether you want to risk being cut or not mm -hmm. yeah and, and I, I run it I run it like you either make the cut or you don't and so you know uh, that's how that's gonna go and I'm not gonna treat you like you're less than and you can't <laughs> I thought I was in. <laughs> well, come and sit down so that you okay, can, cut. you know what I 